year, it's projected that U.S. companies will lose billions of dollars to crimes like cyber attacks and espionage, and that also means a loss in jobs. So the FBI showed 11 News reporter Megan Pringle a tool that they are sharing with companies so that they know what to look for. It has drama, suspense, and is based on a true story. But this isn't a blockbuster that you'll see in the theaters. It's called The Company Man, protecting America's secrets. And instead of a big Hollywood producer, this comes from the FBI. It deals with a little reported crime that has huge consequences, economic espionage. You're talking about uh, a, what has been forecasted for 2015 is a $400 billion loss to corporate entities out there through the theft of trade secrets. The movie shows attempts by Chinese nationals to steal valuable and innovative information developed by an American company. Economic espionage is a problem everywhere, but it's definitely a concern in Maryland. According to the FBI, there are 1,800 defense contractors in this area. Plus, our proximity to biomedical companies make us a real target. It, those specific areas have been uh, primarily targeted uh, by the you know, People's Republic of China, Russia, uh, again, because that's where you see a lot of that innovative, cutting-edge technology being developed. The hope is it'll be a useful tool for companies, not just to raise awareness, but also provide direction. One of the biggest things the FBI does is outreach to both educate them about what the threats are to their trade secrets, and then also how the FBI would look to work with them if they have an allegation of a theft of a trade secret or an issue with potential economic espionage. But the Bureau says they can't address the threat of trade secret theft alone. They need companies to come to them and trust them, and they hope that this movie helps them do that. In Baltimore, Megan Pringle, WBAL TV 11 News.